strange that princes and kings, and clowns that caper in sawdust rings, and common people like you and me are builders for eternity. In 1932, whilst playing in the Karuv Felt, the young Chris Barnard came across an upended tortoise. He picked it up, held it to his ear, hearing the thump of the heart struggling to survive. Placing it on its feet, he gave it a chance to live. I always tried to project Chris Barnard. I never pretended that I'm the great professor and this great man that people thought I should be. Chris Barnard studied at the University of Cape Town Medical School, graduating at the tender age of 24. He and his surgery team did the world's first heart transplant operation on the 3rd of December, 1967. Loki, his first wife, stood by him in these early years, whilst Chris studied and did the research to develop the original synthetic heart valves. In 1958, Chris Barnard set up a cardiac surgery program at Hudeskir and a surgery program for congenital heart disease at the Red Cross Children's Hospital. When they asked me that question, um, people uh, believed that it was a great exciting day for me, full of tension. Uh, it was really not, because we did not realize at that stage that the first transplant of the heart would make such tremendous news. The only time that I realized that I was doing something different, and this was really the moment of truth, is when I looked down into the chest of that patient and there was no heart. But, as I said, we had prepared ourselves very well, and we went ahead. And when the blood came back into that transplant heart, immediately it showed life. And eventually, when I shocked it, it started beating. Everybody started talking, and everybody was... was it was, it was very emotional, because uh, it was the first time that a human heart was taken from a donor and, and successfully transplanted. And uh, when I left that hospital that morning, you'll be surprised to know there was not one photographer, not one uh, television camera, not one newspaper reporter outside that hospital to interview me about the operation. But uh, as history has shown, things changed very rapidly after that. And that was difficult for me to handle. Not the operation, that was easy. But to, to, to handle the celebrity status that followed the first transplant. The first human heart transplant on 53-year-old Louis Waskansky 34 years ago meant a tremendous amount to medicine in general and set the stage for improvements in all organ transplantation. With one pioneering feat, Chris Barnard, the boy from the Karoo town of Beaufort West, and his surgical team at Hutiskur Hospital performed the operation that made medical history. This event brought instant international fame to Chris Barnard at the age of 47. Is it not strange that princes and kings and clowns that caper in sawdust rings and common people like you and me are builders for an eternity? Each is given a bag of tools, the shapeless mass, a book of rules, and each must make ere time life flown a stumbling block or a stepping stone. It's quite an interesting story. My son, who died, uh, he was a medical student, and it was after the divorce. And uh, one of my ex-patients became like his second father. It was the first patient and the only patient where I did the transplant, and when I was finished, his heart didn't want to work. Uh, it would beat, but it couldn't carry the circulation, and I struggled for hours, and eventually I switched off the heart lung machine, and he died on the operating table. When I came out, he came to me and he said to me, uh, Dad, what happened? And I said, he died. And he says, but why did he die? I said, because the new heart just couldn't pump enough blood to keep him alive. And he immediately said to me, he said, 
why did you not put back his old heart? At least that kept him alive. And I realized that the old heart may be diseased, but it can still do enough to keep the patient alive. And why don't we leave that heart there and just add to the function of that heart with the second heart? And that's when I developed the piggyback operation where the two hearts are next to each other and work together.